but the idea is for them also like Sunny is middle trying to get information. One is also B, yeah, they uh, you know one of also one is B or yeah. yeah. So basically it's a bit there are not two middle, there's one middle and then they react on him. Yeah, depends on what he sees or what he hears there in middle, then uh, they go out A or this J here, I don't know what happened here, but he just goes out on timing, he has information or whatever. It's basically a pattern, he smokes and then after a while he goes away. I never saw him like standing behind it. Maybe but that's a problem. And to be honest, in the, on paper it looks like probably the hardest uh, matchup we could get, but I think it's really good for us. Slips the knife in the back and that is going to be Rocks falling. Nato now just has to try and hold his own here and at the buffer he's going to put a stop to Chris J and Snacks <laughs> as well. There we go. Oscar left in a 1v4. The bomb dropped down at the sandwich and Nato is certainly not making a meal out of this one. Finding openings actually on this T side as well. It's going to get the drop on Sunny that's bombed down even though Rocks is getting in the shadows. He's going to get the drop on Oscar. Realistically do actually Fabian is on a bit of a fact finding mission. Oh, <laughs> Dennis is all seeing. against Vega Squadron and the CIS team. They are really strong in our head versus uh, playstyle, but I think we are good prepared and will do good. Get away from this orb of JR, oh. but he actually finds a second as well. And the timing may get him, but the flashbang is absolutely perfect. What a superb round from Dennis. We were shown by Stan how it can be used. Can come back out, and now he knows exactly where he is. Tony Buck's dropped. Did he spot Favon? That's a no. He's going to get sidelined. Today we're going to be playing with Hill Racers in the Star Battle Star Series Season 6 and um, I'm really hoping we can sneak a win here. Dennis is going for that one kill, spams away and it's actually Faven. The crossfire of these digs has just been incredible. Woxic will be able to take one down. And now it is left all onto Bondic. He has been a clutch king in the past, but both of these players pushing in. He sprays down one and Sprout out of absolutely nowhere. Sprout's done a great job of actually catching these players on the site. Percy, he's got the ranged pistol, he's going for these long shots and he's taking down Angel. He needs to be very careful. The re is not going to be the right call to make for him as Woxic finds the kill. Nato's backing because they don't expect a double pit and he's done it! 1v2 for Nato! Percy passes without seeing a thing. Angel though misses a shot, and actually Percy's now got his third kill of the round. They're back out wide. Both players are here. This is down, and Nato finds the last. Great work from the side of Sprout in the Dawn in the B bomb site. Finally gonna see. He's ready. Oh, there's a gap. There's a gap, and Percy sees it too. He's found the frag. It's only Dead Fox left. He's got a clutch it for his team, but Spitty's in the back line, and Sprout are on the retake. 17 rounds apiece. Close left, Dennis pushing, he's been spotted, they know he's there, but the Molotov force is bonding out. Nizza doesn't check the corner, Dennis finds two, it's just Woxic left, finds one with the AWP, but the uh, defuse is in, the retake is one, and I think there's just enough time.
really want to shout out to everyone. Thank you for watching. Thank you for cheering for us. Thank you for every positive comment we get, and thank you for all sponsors. Uh, we have to that we get the possibility to have 10 events.